What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to download yourself the new updated version of Call of Duty Mobile on your iOS device. So I've seen a lot of people actually complaining about that on TapTap, mainly because they cannot update it. And there's a little thing that they did to kind of prevent people from getting into this beta. They're trying to keep us out, but I found a way. Uh, basically, what you will need to do, for those guys who don't have this, right, you will need to create an Australian Apple ID. Now, down in the description below, I will post two links. I guarantee it, your phone will blow up with viruses. But follow those two links, right? Basically, one of them is a random address generator, and the other one, you will need a random phone generator. So you will need an Australian address, and you will need an Australian phone number. So you create your new Apple ID. Don't worry about it. You don't have to have an Apple or a, an Australian Gmail or Australian email of any sort. So basically, if you have any burner emails, you can use it. So basically, sign up for a new Australian Apple ID. Then you go in and download yourself a VPN. So I usually use a UFO VPN. So basically, there's a little trick with that. If you guys sign up, there's a, two, a couple of different tiers. You guys can sign up for anyone and there's one tier that will give you a week of free premium VPN use. So what's kind of cool about it is they don't actually withdraw money from your account until that free uh, trial period runs out. So make sure you kind of circle your calendar about that so you know when to cancel it. So if you guys cancel before that date runs out, you guys will not be charged. But of course, you will not have to watch any ads again. So once you created that Apple ID, you go in, you go to your Apple Store. You download this game, right? Now don't open don't open the game. Then you go in and open your VPN. You go to Australian VPN, then you open the game. Sometimes it will not work right away. Like for me, it took me like five tries to actually get in, but as you guys can see, I'm actually in. And uh, the update is kind of neat. They did a few things and um, I'm going to talk about the patch notes after I tell you guys how to download the game, but you guys already know how to download the game. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the patch notes. There are two different videos sliced together. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let's get to the patch notes. So season one is live. New themed rewards for rank multiplayer and battle royale. New premium and free battle uh, pass rewards. So I believe this is going to be the last time that uh, you're going to be able, you know, keep your progress. So this this little beta thing that we got going on right now is not going to be reset. So for those guys who've been grinding out the betas and it kept on getting reset, you guys have been grinding out the betas and kept on getting reset, I believe this is not going to get reset. So all your progress on this one, make sure you sign up for a Facebook account so you guys can actually use it on multiple devices and be sure to keep your progress. So don't go into guest, sign up into Facebook, you guys are going to be good to go. So, season one is live. Uh, then we go to multiplayer. We got practice mode. Number 3.1. Train your skills, weapons, and settings against AI and reduce XP in the new mode. Tactical scope sensitivity options in the setting menu. Improvements and optimizations. Ranked mode. Number 5.1. No rank points penalty for joining match in progress. Which is good. Which is good. Optimize scoring in battle royale. Improved match... Uh, Ranked matchmaking system, multiplayer, improved respawn invincibility during the front line, improved spawn location logic in front line, improved meddling over some objects, added shadow quality options in setting menus, optimized water surfaces, optimized lighting graphics, improved double tap screen double tap uh, double uh, double tap to scope screen feature so improved firing experience of assault rifles and automatic sniper rifles improved 3d touch controls which i don't use i don't know who how many people actually use that improved abnormal jitter while firing which is kind of good because the Visual recoil of some weapons was almost unbearable. That actually made me switch from the guns, like the AK. So we're going to be testing a little bit of that. 
Improved damage and Tempest Optim uh, Operator skill. Okay, cool. Improved firing stability of assault rifles. Improved firing stability of MSMC, which is great. Never got to use that gun in this beta. Slightly reduced hip fire performance, which is great because it is a Call of Duty. It's not modern combat, so don't be hip firing. A slightly reduced ADS speeds and a reload speed of PDW 57 Battle Royale. Improved the unusual of various zip lines or a. Uh, you improved usability. I'm sorry. I'm not really sure why I can't read today. Improved loot distribution in tunnels. Improved distribution of supply boxes at the farm. Improved um, distribution of supply boxes at the farm. I already read that. Uh, adjusted aircraft speed, allowing players to batter, uh, better strategize, which is nice. Optimized loadout interface to improve the usability. Yeah, visual markers removed after after defeating bosses improved abnormal jitter while firing which is kind of the same thing improved damage of AKS 74U and MSMC at close range reduced damage of PDW 57 at close range reduced scope speed of Arctic 50 which uh, I don't know never used that gun it's a pretty high level gun which is kind of irritating never really got to use it optimized vehicle driving performance improved availability of 5.62 and 5.56 ammunition slightly reduced a range of ninja's grappler gun never got to use that either so don't even know what the hell they're talking about slightly reduce the changing time in clown's ability optimized movement in third and first person perspectives improved landscape surroundings nuke town and then improved looting ui while upgrading is available system and client so this is basically your lag and everything like that improved performance in battle royale which is a lot of people been complaining that it lags like crazy in battle royale improved resolution for low and medium devices optimized game performance for low memory devices improved refresh rates in battle royale for low memory devices which is good a lot of people again been complaining about the slow frame rate in that game mode which is kind of funny because that's kind of the same thing people complained about on console and pc respectively improved uh, spectating user interface and user experience in search and destroy which uh, i haven't really noticed a lot of that added function of sending messages to team or all in matches optimized tutorial experience improved ui and mode the map selection improved ability to remove loadout notifications Okay, okay, okay. Improved the chat invitation system in, uh, well, improved the party invitation system in chat. Added a new tooltip throughout the game. And bug fixes, fixed jitter of gyroscope features, uh, fixed issue where grenades could not be directed at a wall, fixed an issue where DLQ33 would randomly ADS while firing, never had the issue, fixed an issue with extreme recoil of M4 LMG, various other bug fixes. So that brings down to our extensive bug and improvement patch that we had today. 